Yo guys, what is up? It is Ben Ranker here, back in with another video, and this will be a video because I am currently in need of practicing my speech right now, and although it may seem like that I will not get stage fright at all, I do get quite bad stage fright, to be honest, when I'm actually in public, rather than just uploading shit to YouTube. But, um, so I think I'm just going to do, um, my speech outline, just say it and hope that I get in the designated time frame, which is roughly like two to three minutes. Or two to five minutes is, I guess, the goal guideline for that. But there's going to be a couple of, like, instances that could take longer when I'm actually presenting it as opposed to um, presenting it to you guys now because I'm going to ask if there are any questions at the end and I'm going to ask something at the start as well. So uh, there's a little bit of buffer time between that. So besides that, though, thanks, guys, as always, for watching. And let's begin with the speech outline. So let's start the timer in three, two, one. All right, hi guys, my name is Ben, and quickly can I get a raise of hands to see how many of you play video games? Hoping that is a vast majority. Uh, I, have a good, I have good news for people that like games overall or just entertainment in general. If you are wondering what these goggles are in front of me, which I'll have the Oculus Rift, that's what I plan on using for this speech. This is called the Oculus Rift, what I consider the future of gaming enter entertainment. There are al there has always been a lack of connection between the player and the screen, and on the video game, the Oculus Rift creates that new type of connection. It puts you in the first-person perspective in the video game, and should be implemented in most games in the near future. As of now, there are some big games supported by the Oculus Rift that include Skyrim, Borderlands, Mirror's Edge, and a few others. There are also games being made specifically for the Oculus Rift. That being said, I have one of those games on the computer, and I would like to ask if anybody would want to give this a try. So. Hopefully this is when I would ask if anybody wants to give the Oculus a try because I plan on bringing it in and I plan on playing one of those games. So that'll take up like a minute or so of time so that'll help a lot. And then, um, okay I'll explain the game as well once it, once they go on. So you use the WASD keys to move and you look around the cabin of the ship, it's this, um, this asteroids type game on the oculus rift and you just look around and shoot the asteroids and as you can see it uses head tracking to put you in the front seat of whatever video game you decide to play there are also third party programs that allow you to play the majority of the games with the oculus rift whether it's supported or not and i've been using those there is another thing being created along with the oculus rift that i find fairly interesting and it's called the omni treadmill this is a 360 degree tracking treadmill that tracks movement so you could in a sense be in a virtual world and be walking in it this could be the next big thing for exercise because of the fat and lazy stereotype for gamers today would be in time some of the most fit people if next gen consoles implemented this on the use of the Omni treadmill or just PCs in general. In conclusion, I think that the Oculus has a bright future ahead of it and I would advise you to look into this as more and more games are implemented for it. Are there any questions? So that's it for the speech. Stop the timer now, I guess. And um let me know if you got any feedback for me. I know eye contact was shit. I'm just reading the speech outline to try to get used to it. But I figured I might as well record it or something because I don't really have that much to upload for my AFK channel at the moment. But let me know if you got any suggestions or feedback besides the eye contact thing. I know that's shit. But yeah, thanks guys. See you later. Peace!